Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to learn about the Planck's content theory and the following video, we are going to learn about the photoelectric effect. In 9.1 learning outcomes, I will be stating the Planck's quantum theory, the differences between the Planck's quantum theory and the classical theory of energy, and a little bit on the Einstein equation too. Black body absorbs and emits electromagnetic radiation that's shown on it. The name of the electromagnetic radiation is called the black body radiation. The distribution of this energy is called black body curve and it depends on the temperature. In classical theory of energy, the distribution of energy E depends only on temperature E equals to Kb times T. Kb is the Boltzmann constant and T is the absolute temperature. This kind of energy emitted continuously and can take up to any value. In this graph, we can see that as the wavelength getting smaller to zero, the amount of energy should become infinite. But when the experiment was conducted, it was shown that as the wavelength gets smaller, the amount of energy also gets smaller to almost zero. In 1900, Max Planck proposed his theory that fits with the experimental curve at all wavelengths known as Planck's quantum theory. In this theory, all EM radiation emitted are in discrete packets of energy or quantized, meaning that not all values of energy are possible. The energy carried by this quantized EM radiation is given by E equals to HF, where H is the Planck's constant and F is the frequency of the radiation. So in other words, the energy of the EM radiation depends on the frequency and not the temperature. The next discovery is done by Einstein in 1905 where he suggested that light is quantized or made of tiny bundles of energy and is called photons. And again, Planck's quantum theory comes to rise, E equals to HF. And since we know that C equals to F lambda, where C is the speed of light, we combine these two and we get Einstein formula for photon energy, E equals to HC over lambda where h is the Planck's constant, c is the speed of light, and lambda is the wavelength of that particular photon. Let's take a look at the definition of electron volt. One electron volt is defined as the kinetic energy of a particle with a charge of positive or negative gains when it is accelerated through a potential difference of magnitude 1 volt. One electron volt is one electron charge times one volt where one charge is 1.6 to the power of negative 19 coulomb and one volt is one joule per coulomb and that's how we get 1.6 to the power of negative 19 joule higher frequency photons have more energy and by looking at this electromagnetic spectrum we can see that the higher the frequency the more energy the photon carries a photon of blue light has more energy than that of red why it's because blue has higher frequency than red. Let's take a look at this question. What is Planck's quantum theory? So you can do the definition like this. Electromagnetic radiation from a black body was emitted in packets of energy, where each packet is called a quantum of energy. This means the value of electromagnetic radiation is quantized or discrete. Therefore, not all values of energy are possible. Next question, 1b. Give two differences between Planck's quantum theory and classical theory of energy. So you can put it into columns like this, classical theory and Planck's theory. For classical theory, the distribution of energy in black body depends on temperature. While for Planck's theory, the energy depends on frequency. Next point, classical theory, the energy of the EM radiation is emitted continuously while in Planck's theory, it mentioned that energy of the EM radiation is emitted in discrete packet. You may pause the video to record the questions. Question A is asking for the energy of a photon in electron volt. The frequency given is 4.615 to the power of 14 Hz. Using Planck's energy equation E equals nHf, number of photon is 1, Planck's content is 6.63 to the power of negative 34 and the frequency is as given. Then convert it to EV by dividing 3.06 to the power of negative 19 joule 
with 1.6 to the power of negative 19. Thus, the final answer is 1.91 electron volt. Question B. To get the lambda of 2.4 electron volt photon energy, we have to convert it first into joule by multiplying it with 1.6 to the power of negative 19 joule. The answer is 3.84 to the power of negative 19 joule. Then, using E equals HC over lambda, rearrange the equation like this. Then substitute the constant and the energy that we have just converted above. And the final answer is 5.18 to the power of negative 7 meters. This is the end of subtopic 9.1. The next video is the lecture for subtopic 9.2.